so today I created a new file. So this file exists inside uh, project uh, Mink Reinforced Learning and then uh, Tools and Training Environment. So uh, we, we are going to create a Reinforced Learning Algorithm from scratch and we build some, uh, some method using cross entropy by scratch uh, on this folder but right now we need to use uh, uh, gym uh, this one library uh, gymnasium uh, to create an environment for enforced learning it's very important for us so how it's working let's run this file i'll show you how it's working yep uh, so this is uh, open high log low set data is random data uh, and it's a blue line it would be uh, profit uh, but right now um, uh, we generate uh, the random data and random action let's for example change and I would like to create uh, instead of 1000 bars I would like to create 100 bars and let's look in yeah like this one yeah you see uh, so this one it, it would be our open high loss data some volume and this one would be uh, returns but maybe i need to improve these charts and we create a secondary uh, y to display this data it's more correctly okay let's look at how it's working so as the first we create uh, our data and we create this function in the previous video this function we create a synthetic data and then uh, we do some initialization of our environment so the first argument uh, would be our data yeah. it's numpy uh, data because this data return for us uh, uh, numpy and array you see from the stick data and uh, we uh, do some column stack using numpy all data and return like a numpy and array and then we need to implement uh, um, bounds for example let's do 10,000 for example okay And next, um, what we need to do, we need to run this environment. And is this environment would be only for trading. And you see, uh, we run a through loop. This is the same for all reinforced learning algorithm. And we generate some action. Uh, we do some observation with the state. And we run through our loop multiply times our environment so let's look for this environment so uh, this class uh, named tra trading environment and gym we, uh, we're going to use uh, our uh, gymnasium library uh, then we do some initialization of the data so it will be a candlestick data it's not by an array it's a balance um, yeah this would be some uh, maximum of position yeah this would be very important for us so we're going to use uh, discrete uh, discrete uh, actions so we're going to uh, use uh, buy sell and hold it would be free actions yeah? yeah and be sure to put free this one then uh, we need to create some observation of space and we input our open hello close for get it yeah the five feature there. Um, this data we need to render. It would be our balance history and price history. So this receipt we reset all our initialization of data. And the main function for us would be the step. And I created some simple logic. So uh, for example, let's imagine 
action zero would be buy and we're looking for our balance if we have enough of money uh, we, uh, we can create a, a new position and we just do some manipulation with our balance and the same for sell signal if uh, we have some position and we can close this position yeah and we do this manipulation with our balance and next uh, what we need to do uh, yeah it would be for done if uh, uh, if our data is finished uh, we uh, finish to process our data in the reinforced learning also we return our reward this one here and then we next observation would be next state yeah you see next state we return next state I will return reward we return done and actions and uh, then we are going to uh, render our data uh, to plot uh, um, to plot uh, our results okay so this is in, it's a very simple uh, environment uh, what we create from scratch using um, library gymnasium and then we, we can improve uh, our logic and create more complicated logic but like for an example uh, we need to use this log logic for our algorithm cross entropy to test our algorithm so we're going to create this one from scratch to understand fully how it's, how it's working okay so let's for example generate new data for example i would like to generate 1000 candlestick let's look at what happens there okay and also don't forget to change uh, volatility um, parameters because when we generate our candlestick data uh, you could uh, change uh, new volatility maximum volatility for example that's the minimum volatility would be half of percent and maximum volatility would be uh, two percent like an example let's look in for three percent let's look in on the results okay uh, this would be our uh, rewards this all times is random it's synthetic data yeah but this data is uh, 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 looking like cryptocurrency it's really funny okay guys uh, so in the next video we are going to apply this reinforced learning um, environment for our cross-entropy method okay see you next time bye